Shalom everybody and welcome to Religion Wing TV. Shalom and welcome to Religion Wing TV where my spiritual ears stay. Your whole spirituality. Now let's sip on this. Shalom. Hey everybody, thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, today's deal of the day is Mother's Day. And I like to shout out two wonderful special people on here that I've met. And, you know, they're very dear to my heart and to my ministry over here. That would be, I'm just saying, in Sweet Home Alamanda. Shout out to you ladies. God bless you. And I pray all is well with you today. So, guys... I'm not discouraged, but a little disappointed. I did the morning read. It came out so beautiful, so wonderful. And um, before I complain about myself and tell you my story, let's go ahead and take a moment of silence for the women who are no longer with us, especially the mother of all living, Eve. And then again, to Miss, uh, I'm just saying, and to Miss Sweet Home Alamanda, their mothers are no longer with us. So let's just take a moment of silence for their mothers and all mothers, all mothers, that is, the living and the dead. God bless you all and happy Mother's Day. This is your girl Religion Link TV and my spiritual ears stay ringing. So I was as, as I was saying before we gave the moment of silence, right? I basically was saying happy Mother's Day. I woke up. I got myself together by 4.50 a.m. East Coast time. Had the morning read and have evidence to prove it. I do believe um, because I'm going to air it after this just as an, another inspirational Happy Mother's Day so you can see how that one went down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. That one was about an hour and three minutes. And it, it recorded half of it and I lost half of it. It said I ran out of this. So I'm going to try to get this one done. Get it all under you know 30 40 minutes and hopefully i can get it over to a uh, movie maker and um upload it all right with that being said here we go guys now we're in the genealogies of the king still and it's the read is kind of hard guys 
And um, I'll share the other one with you. It was a very inspirational moment. And again, I'm giving you all the positive energy I can. And we're going to go ahead and get into chapter 3. And again, you're going to be able to hear the audio and see the visual. I'm going to premiere that live sometime later on after this morning read right now but you're going to be able to see the enthusiasm the energy it was a beautiful thing um even the setup was a little different than this here and um anyway everything is self-explanatory over here okay i make no excuses for anything and let's get into the morning read this is your channel uh religion wing tv and i'm your girl spirituality and my spiritual ears stay but like I said earlier, guys, these names are hard to get through. I don't know why y'all keep trying to name y'all children all these difficult names to pronounce. No wonder the teachers is frustrated with them in school. <laughs> they be trying to call them out and get them get their attention and can't even pronounce their name. I understand. Now, let me stop. Good morning. God bless you. And shout out again to I'm Just Saying and to Miss Sweet Home. Alamanda, you guys are special to me. And may God be with you, comfort you, and I know that your moms are looking down on you being as proud as they can. I know that your moms are being as proud as they can. So chapter three verse thirty one, first chronicles. Now these are the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron, and his first Amon. And Hinnom of the Jezreelites, the date, the second Daniel of Abigail, the Carmelites, is um, David's son, Solomon and Daniel's brothers and sis brothers. I asked something like that in the beginning, too, uh, in the other video. I'll share that with you. Let me just get through the read, too. The third Absalom. The son of Maiachah, the daughter of Tama, king of Geshur, the fourth Adoniah, Adonijah, the son of Hagen, three, the fifth Shemataiah of Abital, the sixth Etherim by Eglah, his wife. Now, if you we learning more about the men here. I did a video called "Badass Women in This Generation," and then of the bible i was talking about and we 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 not far from our ancestors at all they did some amazing things more names than you know go check that video out so it goes on to say in verse four these six were born of him in hebron and there he reigned seven years and six months and in jerusalem he reigned in three years make let me make sure this microphone is on okay got it five and these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shemia, and Shoba, and Nathan, and Solomon for of Bathsheba. And I explained, this isn't Bathsheba here, it's Bathsheba. But I know the son of David, Solomon, is birthed by Bathsheba. So this may be a typo or a way to try to confuse people. There might have been a Bathsheba and a Bathsheba. And they want us to think that this is a Bathsheba and not the Bathsheba. Could be a typo. You never know. Because God didn't take the scrolls to the printing press and type this book out and construct it. He only inspired the word to be spoken. So man had an uh, 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 opportunity to do something with it. So let's go on here. And it goes on to say she's the daughter of Amiel 6. Aha, Ahai. Ibhar also in Elishama in Elifilet seven and Noga and Nefget in Japia eight in Elishama in Elishada in Elifilet nine and then verse nine goes on to say these were all the sons of David besides the sons of the concubines and Tamar their sister. All right now. So, verse 10 goes on to say, And Solomon's sons were Rohoboam, and Abia his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son. Now, Solomon is expected to have a lot of children. He had at least 700 concubines, right? And wives on top of that. So, and, um, 
So, 11 goes on, 10 goes on to say, Solomon's sons was Roboam, Abia, and his sons, Asa, his sons, Jehoshaphat, his sons. Um, wow. And 11, Joram, his sons, and Haziah, his sons, and Joash, his son. Amaziah, his sons. Azariah, his son. Jothan, his son. 13, Ahaz, his son. Hezekiah, his son. Manasseh, his son. 14, Amon, his son. Josiah, his son. And the sons of 15, and the sons of Josiah were the firstborn. Johanan, second, jo Jehoiakim, the third, Zedekiah, and the fourth, Shalom. 16. And the sons of Joachim, jo Jokaniah, his son, Zedekiah, his son. You think by now I read this twice this morning, I would have this down, right? 17. And the sons of Jokaniah, Asir, Salathiel, his son. 18. Malcolm also, and Pedala, and Shednarzar, Jokamaya, Hosamiah and Netabiah. All right, these names I'm telling you are not European Caucasian names. 19. And the sons of Petalu were Zerubbabel and Shemia, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshalam, and Hananiah, and Sholemoth, their sister, and Hashima, and Obhel, Bar Barakiah, and Hasadiah. Jeshabe said, 5, 21, And the sons of Hamaniah, Palatiah, and Josiah, the sons of Raphaiah, Raphaiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shehaniah. All right, so we end to verse 22. And the sons of Sheshaniah, Shamaiah, the sons of Shamaiah, Hatush, Agael, and Beria, and Neriah, and Shaphat, 6, 23. And the sons of Neriah, Eliaphani, Hezekiah, and Azrakam, 3. And the last verse of this book goes on to say this chapter. And the sons of Elani were Hodadiah, Elanishib and Paliyah and Akab and Johanna and Dahalia and Ammonai. Seven. This ends the reading, you guys, of chapter three in First Chronicles. Let's move right into verse four. You'll enjoy the other one a little bit more. It was more relaxed. It was not rushed. More uh, educational. But again, as I said in that one, if we captured it all, um. The the education, the miseducation of a Negro is what got us all here today. The miseducation of a Christian is what got us all here today. So let's stay educated in the true word. Because we're about to get into Judah. The only son through Perez with his daughter-in-law Tamar, as we read yesterday, is the only one who the, the Christ came through. Let's be clear about this, people. He did not come through all the races of the world. He came through one fourth son of a man. God changed his name to Israel. How they became the descendants and the children of Israel. Not the geographical place. Although the place they ruled there. That's their place. Alright so let's go on. And did you know the three gods of Egypt somehow named themselves after the place in the man of God, Israel? Israel is Isis, El, and Ra. Is Ra, Isis, Ra, El. Think about that, people. Why would their names be the name of the children of Israel? We don't serve that God. We serve Yahweh. See how the world always somehow been mocking the Most High God. And he says be not deceived. For uh, he shall not be mocked. He's going to prove in these last days. He is the mighty God. So with that being said. This is t uh, Religion Wing TV. I'm your host. Spirituality. And my spiritual ears. Stay. 
Moving right along. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. God bless you. Chapter 4. In the sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, and Kamai, Carmi, and her, and I joked, is this Ben Hur? Did they steal his identity too? Anyway, in Shabal, in two, verse two, in Raaya, the son of Shabal beget Jahath, and Jahath beget Ahamai, and Lahad. These are the families of the Dorothites. Now I said earlier, I'm not gonna get into it. Hopefully, we captured it. When, when we started mixing, when other races started mixing with us through slavery and bondage and everything else, our bloodline became watered down and we started calling ourselves other things, especially when we were ran out of Jerusalem in 70 AD. We went as the Moors, the nation of Islam, the five percenters, the Christians. Some went east as far as Asia and practiced Buddha and Hindu and the uh, and um india and things like that oh yeah it goes deep people we're spread from one end of the earth to the other that's why the queen she would have it no other way that we be deceived and her bloodline be pure right so let's go on let's get there we got 15 minutes into it we can get done three and these were the fathers of elan of etam Jezreel and Ishma and Idbash and the names of their sisters was Hazialaponai and four Penny Pe Penuel the father of Gedor and Ezer the father of Husha these are the sons of her the firstborn of Ephrata the son of Bethlehem five and Ashur the son of Tekoa had two wives, Hela and Naara, six. And Naara bare him Ahazuham, Ah Ahuzam, Ahuzam, and Hefer, and Tamia, Tamami. And Ahashiba Terry, oh, that's a Tari, okay. Uh, is Ha Ahash Tari. These were the sons of Naara, seven. And the sons of Hala were Zareth and Joel, Jezoar, and Ethnan. 8. And Cruz beget Anan, and Zobebab, Zubibab, Zobebab, and the families of the of Ha'arahel, the son of Harun. 29. Uh, and Jabez. Now, um, hopefully we got this in the other recording. Jabez definitely is a man to want to follow after him. He said, Lord, enlarge my coast. Here it is in verse 9 and 10. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his, his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. So he probably walked around like a sorrowful man, right? Not having much, couldn't, couldn't bring in much, or let the energies and the angels and the spirits of the world and God himself... Uh, attract much to him because of his attitude right and his mentality so Tang goes on to say he had courage enough I'm saying intend to say and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast that means territory border land and that thine hand might be with me and that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me, pain me, cause me sore vex. And God grant me that which he requested. Amen. And I said, you know what? In this time of need, you need to go ahead and start to call upon the name of the Lord. Because really, truly, people, we can make any excuse we want. But if you are reading from this Bible, study from this Bible, there's only one God of this Bible that can do this. And that did this. That's why the world felt it good. Made it a story about it. So that they can capitalize on it. For the rest of the world, rest of their lives. And if they deceive the people of the Bible. They can capitalize on that as well. That's why there's a lot of mass manipulation. In here. You got to read carefully. Verse 11. And we have to go over to verse 43. And Shalub. The brother of Shua beget Meher, which was the father of Eshtan, twelve. And Eshtan beget Beratha, and Pusa'ah, and Tena, 
in father of the Emrena, em, the father of in Er Nahash, in Nahash. These are the men of Rakab, Rak Rakab. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I do apologize. Let me get some coffee, guys. So far, there's no errors of low recording or anything like that, you all. I do apologize, but we're going to keep on pressing forward. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and change up here. We're almost halfway there. 12, and it's time to get Barafafa and Pasa'a and Tehina and the father of Irnahash. These are the men of Raqqa. I want to say Rahab, it can be spelled here because we've seen another place where it was Rakab with a B, now it's Raqqa. It could be Rahab. And, and, and it, again, when Greek got their hands on this, they tried to switch it up, okay? So we'll just have to wait and see. But we did read in another account where she is in the lineage. We read yesterday where the men of her, because she had a son with Salmon. Salmon is Boaz's father. Boaz is the one Ruth married in the field while she was gleaning the uh, wheat. The one who stayed with Naomi. While Orpah went in the world and changed her name and became uh, Oprah. Because she didn't want to be who God called her to be of the Bible. She didn't like the Bible. Nothing of the Bible. She wanted to go chasing after riches and go back her. She uh, uh, wanted to go back to her kindred folks. You know, which this Oprah don't really go back to her kindred folks. I'm just making a comparison here about Oprah of the world today and how she ended up with a house nigga named Stedman and how Ruth, who claimed to uh, Naomi, ended up with Boaz in the lineage of the Christ. Can you see that? Oprah don't believe in Christ. Can you see what I'm saying here, people? And she changed her name to Oprah to fit Harpo Studios. She had a game plan, but it wasn't of God. And it's not the God we serve of this Bible because she would admit to knowing and understanding the Messiah and the Christ. So, 13. In the sins of Canez, Onelio, Othelia, Othiel, and Saraya, in the sins of Othiel, Hatat, 14. And Maniothi beget Orp Ra. Orp Ra. Orp Ra. Orp Ra. It's spelled like Oprah here. And Sarala beget Joab. And the father of the valley of Tereshim. For they were craftsmen. 15. And the sons of Caleb. This could be the son of Caleb who ran with Joshua as the spies to spy out the land. And the sons of him are Jun of Jun and Jun Jephuneb, Ireb, Eleb, and I am. And the sons of Elah, even Kenaz. 16. And the sons of Jehaliel, and Ziph, and Zipha, Tyria. And Asriel. Guys, this is important, as I said earlier. Definitely, definitely, definitely important. Um, I want to go ahead and take a commercial break here. And tell you guys, don't forget your coffee and your tea mugs. Go right on over to uh, teespring.com and get yourself a morning mug. Alright, also find some way to get yourself a Bible as well, but... Definitely on teesprings.com. You can get t-shirts and the mugs. But these t-shirts are called Wing Stars. We lace. L-A-Y-S-E. Looking at you side eye. And that you is the evil. You got to be specific. Call it out and address it. So it's you. He know. The tail know. The negative energy of this world know who you are talking about when you begin when you begin to be specific and give it a name. So I feel like we're lace over here. That's the hottest term on these YouTube streets. We're wink stars, like most people want to be wink stars, and we getting it in over here. Uh, we are on Second Chronicles. All right, Second Chronicles. Chapter 4, verse 14, and we have to go over to 43. Now, 
And Methanel begat Orpah, and Sabia begat Joab, and the father of the valley of Cherishim, and for they were the craftsmen. I read that, but let's go on to 17, because I read 15 and 16 as well. 17. And the sons of Ezra were Jether, and Medrer, and Ephir, and Jalan, and Sheber, Miriam. Mm hmm. Is this Moses' sister? We have to read and keep seeing, although we read about Miriam back with Moses in the book of Exodus and, you know, back there. But also, again, I told you, there's the mother of Christ's name is Miriam as well, not Mary. We got to get back to the real names. Miriam was the real name of the Hebrew women of that time. Mary is the Greek way of saying everything, just like Jesus is the Greek way of saying Yeshua. All right, so... 17. And the sons of Ezra were Jether, Merer, and a Lord, let me just go back and read this. Mered and Ephir and Jalan and Sheber, Miriam and Shemai and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. 18. And his wife, Judah, Juhudaijah, bare Jared, the father of Geder, and Heber, the father of Sosha. Alright, guys, I'm doing the best with these. Uh, names that I can but again the, the apple does not fall far from the tree you're just like your ancestors now if we can please take another moment of silence God bless you all. Thank you so much. So, right into verse 32 here. Uh, let's see. Mm. Excuse me. Right into verse 18 to finish up. Here we go. And his wife, Juhadadai, bare Jerad, the father of Gedor, and Heber, the father of Socho, and Jekotheel, the father of Zonoah. These are the sons of Bithia, the daughter of Pharaoh, which Mered took, steady mixing with the Egyptians along the way. So, of course, we have the blood. They have our blood. It's mixed in. But know who you are, people. If you're not the descendant of Ham, you're just not the descendant of Ham. If you're not the descendant of uh, Hell, some of us out of Shem, you're not the descendant of Shem. Some of us is probably a crossbreed of Shem and Ham, realistically. So, it goes on to say, verse 19, And the sons of his wife, Hodiah, the sister of Naham, the father of Kela, the Garmite, the Eshtemoa, the Mayakaitites. 20. And the sons of Shimon were Amon, Amrimna, Benana, Tylon, and the sons of Ishai were Zobeth and Benozeth. Benoheth, excuse me. 22. 21. And the sons of Shelah, the sons of Judah, were Ur, the father of Lakah. Now these are the sons of Judah. We read yesterday, Judah's son was slew. Judah ended up sleeping with his daughter-in-law Tamar and had a son Perez. He in all total had five sons, but only one son brought forth the tribe of Judah, whom the lion of the tribe of Judah, Christ himself, sprang out of, right? 21. The sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, were Er, Er, the father of Lakah, and Laada, the father of Mer Merishah, the families of the host of them that wrought fine linen, and the house of Ashbeah. 22. And Jochem, and the men of jo jo Zeba, Joseba, and Joash, and Sorath, and had the dominion of Moab, and Joesh Bilam, okay, Jash Ubilam, 
And these are ancient things. Let's look for the ancient things, guys. We have it. Check the Vatican. It's over there. <laughs> 23. These were the porters and those that dwelt among plants and hedges, that they dwelt with the king for his work. 24. The sons of Simeon were Nem, Uel, and Jamin, and Jarib, Jara, and Shaul. You see these names? Zerah. 25. Shalem, his sons. Misam, Mibsam, his son. Mishma, his son. 26. And the sons of Mishma, Hamuel, his son. Zakar, his son. Shemei, his son. 27. And Shemei had 16 sons and 6 daughters. But this, but his brethren had not many children. Neither did all their family multiply like to the children of Judah. Who I'm saying now still wax strong today. Judah is always growing above any other population. That's why they find ways and ways and ways to keep killing off the black population. Who composed of the 12 brothers is just not a shade black of my own if you know what I look like it's a random shade of multiple faceted colors from the highest people who are born with no melanin in their skin still black because do two black people can produce an albino which is no melanin all the way down to the darkest of babies the gene can go right so it goes on to say 20 or, um, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 27. And Shimei had 16 sons and 6 daughters, but his brethren had not many children. Neither did all the family multiply like to the children of Judah. 28. And they dwelt at Beersheba, Beersheba, and Mo Moladad, and Halazush, and Halazshuz, and Halaz. Zashua, excuse me, 29, and Bilhah, and at Azam, and Tolad, 30, and at Bethuel, and at Hormah, and at Ziglag, where King David wives were taken from him, right, and they burned down Ziglag, and it goes on to say, 31, and at Beth Markaboth, and at Harzasulim, and at Bethir Ai, and at Shua Aram, these were the cities unto the reign of David. Ziglag was definitely one of them. 32. And their villages were Etam and I am, Remnam and Teshan, to Tochen and Ashan, five cities. 33. And all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal, Baal. These were the inhabitants of their genealogy. It's important to go back, y'all. Go back. Go back unto the genealogy. And we're going to get into that. So, I go watch the video yesterday, the morning read, episode 70. It started off in First Chronicles 1 and 2. Now we are in chapter 4, verse 34. And Meshahab and Jamlek and Joshash, the sons of Amaziah, 35. And Joel and Jehu, the son of Josibiah, the son of Saria, the son of Asiel. 36. And Elioni, and Jacobi, and Jeshabihai, and Asiai, and Adiel, and Jesimael, and Benaiah. 37. And Ziza, and the sons of Shephi, the sons of Alon, the sons of Jedidiah. The sons of Shemri, the sons of Shemiah. Listen, guys, it's more than Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go back. We read Adam to Seth, right? So then it goes on to say, um, 39, 38, excuse me. These mentioned by their names were princes in their fathers' cities, and the houses of their fathers increased greatly. 39, and they went to the entrance of Gedor even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And we're on verse 40. And they found fat pasture and good, and they um, and the land was wide and quiet peacefully, 
for they of Ham have dwelt there of old. Ham descendants was dwelling here. So we came into them. They mixed and mingled, I bet. Didn't I just say that the Israelites and the Hamites, they were, they were brothers. I mean, Ham and Shem. Some of the descendants kept up with one another, probably had incense with one another and slept with one another. Absolutely. And if you do the genealogy of Ham, they were some of the Egyptians that helped sell some of their ancestors, I mean, kinfolk into slavery as well. So it goes on, 41. And these, written by the name, came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and smote their tents and their inhabitants that they were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto this day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was pasture for them, for their flocks. 42. And some of them, even the sons of Simeon, 500 men, went to Mount Seir, having their captains, Pelatia, and Nyaria, and Repula, and Uziel, and the sons of Ishai. In the last verse of 40, uh, chapter 4, verse 43, And they smote the rest of the Amalekites, and they were uh, escaped and dwelt there unto this day. So we're going to go ahead right into scene 5, you all. This is your girl's spirituality, and my spiritual is say absolutely let's get into it so we have to go from verse 5 all the way over to verse 26 and I think we can push this out in about 10 minutes definitely a lot uh, shorter than the last read but again it was so much information in that last read it was it was nice commentary so verse chapter 5 verse 1 verse 1 now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn of the man named Jacob, who God changed his name to Israel. He was the, not the firstborn man in Israel, the state, the, um, the, the country over there. No, he was not. He was the firstborn of a man named Israel, right? So it goes on to say, but for as much as he defiled his father's bed, my commentary slept with his father's wife or handmaid or something his birthright was given unto the sons of joseph the sons of israel i told you joseph in his passing or in jacob giving out the inheritance he told joseph i'm going to give it to your two sons because dan got cast out reuben don't really get anything but manasseh and ephraim get what reuben should have gotten so it goes on to say, uh, right here, it says that uh, given to Joseph's sons, the sons of Israel. These are Joseph. Joseph is the last born child of Jacob, Israel, right? And the genealogy, genealogy see how we're talking about genealogy here, is not to be reckoned after the birthright. Two, for Judah prevailed above his brothers, and of him came the chief ruler, that is talking about the chief cornerstone. But the birthright was Joseph's. See, the birthright was Joseph's, but out of the tribe of Judah comes the Christ. Come on, somebody. This is what it's saying here. The birthright was Jew Judah's, but the chief ruler, and of him came the chief ruler. That's the prophecy. Third, three, verse 3, the sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanak and Pelu, Hezron and Carmi. 4, and the sons of Joel and Shemaiah, his son Gog, his son Shemaiah, his son. 5, Micah, his son, Ra'ai, his son, Baal, his son. Okay, 6, Be'eroth, his son. Whom till Gath say, king of Assyria, carried away captive, he was prince of the Reubenites. Let's get into verse 7. And his brethren, by their families, between the, when the genealogy of their generations was reckoned, were the chief Jael and Zeph Zechariah, excuse me, eight. 
and Bela the son of Azah the son of Shema and the son of Joel who dwelt in Ar Oer even unto Nebo and Baalmion 9 and eastward he inhabited unto the entering in all the wilderness from the river Euphrates because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead 10 and in the days of Saul they made war with the Hagarites who fell by their hand and they dwelt in the tents throughout all the east land of Gilead 11 and the children of Gad dwelt over him over against them in the land of Bashan unto Salka 12 Joel the chief and Shamphai the next and Jaminai and Shapheth and Bashan and 13 we have to go to 26 and their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael Meshulam and Sheba Jore Joshan and Ziah and Haber seven times 14 these are the children of Abiel the son of Huri the son of Joriah the son of Gilead the son of Michael the son of Joshisha, the son of Josh, God, I can't help, excuse me, Jado, the son of Booz, B U Z. We're almost there, guys. Gotta go to 26. 15. And Ahai, the son of Abdiel, the son of Gunai, chief of the house of their fathers. 16. And they dwelt in Gilead, in Bashan, and in her towns, and in the suburbs of Sharnan upon their borders 17 and these were the reckons by them king of judah and in the days of jeroboam king of israel 18 the sons of reuben and the gadites and half the tribe of manasseh a valiant men men able to bear buckler and sword and to shoot with bow and skillful in war were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score and went out to war 19 and they made war with the Hagarites and the and with Jatir and Nafish and Nodab 20 and they were helped against them and the Hagarites were delivered into their hands and all they that were with them for they cried to the God in battle and he was entreated of them because they put their trust in him and let's do that guys let's put our trust in the God of the battles that goes on today such as people who are mourning today who you know need comfort because their moms are no longer with us um, shout out again to I'm just saying and to Miss Sweet Home Alamanda God bless you all and let's take a moment of silence for them thank you And guys, when you're done, you can get yourself over there to Amazon.com and pick up any book for all your reading needs. Get over to Amazon.com. There's children's books, baby books, Black Lives Matter, and of course your spirituality is there. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, 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 like, comment, and share to this video. And we will continue on with the morning read. After you decide to give a donation or not, whatever's led on your heart to do for this particular morning read, happy Mother's Day, God bless you. Now let's get back into it. Let's go ahead and switch out here. So we are on verse 21 because we just put our trust in God, right? For the comforts of our dear sisters who mourn, you know, who's at a loss of their mom, you know, who needs some condolences and some discomfort 
on these you know a holiday like today and father's day where it's really special because they gave you your life through the most high god and parents are definitely special and miss so god bless you both thank you so much for being a part of my life and allowing me to minister to your souls thank you verse 21 and they took away their cattle of their camels 50,000 and of the sheep 250,000 and of asses 2,000 and of men in 100,000 22 for there fell down many slain because the war was of God and they dwelt in their steads until the captivity see then when the war is of God many will fall down slain in the spirit not necessarily dead but he will make your enemy your footstool and make them bless you at the same time 23 and the children of the tri half tribe of manasseh dwell in the land that they, they increase from bashan unto baal hermon and senir and unto mount hermon 24 and these were the hands of the house of their fathers even ephraim and ishi and Aliel, and Azriel, and Jeremiah, and Hodaviah, and Jadiel, mighty men of valor, famous men, and heads of the house of their fathers. 25. And they transgressed against God, against the God of their fathers, and went a whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom they destroyed before them and i said if we caught it in the other video that it's okay to say christians if they are if we are the real children of israel israelites and of israel out here a whoremonger and a fornicating and the adultery in on god on yahweh the god of the bible they've been taught and conditioned to put all their hope and trust in jesus and even Jesus had to put his hope and trust in Yahweh. The Christ, the Messiah, had to... He said, not my will, but my Father's will. So we got to twist it. It's okay, people, to change your narrative about your faith and what you know is true in this world, okay? At least I'm doing it. And if I can encourage you in any way to come from amongst them and stop being slaves to certain things in this Bible that cause you to be slaves... Colossians 3 and 22, Ephesians 6 and 5, and so on and so forth. Uh, Galatians, every man hang on a tree is cursed, and things of that nature. 26, the last read of the morning, verse chapter 5, verse 26. Oh, let me finish reading 5. They go a whoremongering after other gods whom God destroyed before them. God already destroyed these gods. And they're still out here worshiping these gods. 26. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Togathasirner, king of Assyria. And he carried them away, even the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And he brought them unto Helah. And Harbar and Hara and to the river of Gozan. Unto this day, people, this is Religion Wing TV. My spiritual ears stay. I'm your host, Spirituality, guys. And let me see. Uh, let's go ahead and do it like this. Wow, that's been an awesome read, you all. I appreciate everyone that came out. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, for your daily bread, and for the things of your spiritual need. This is your girl, Spirituality. Thank you so much for watching Religion TV. This is your girl, Spirituality. And my spiritual ears are dead. Alright, so let's go ahead and give another moment of silence. To all those that represent Mother's Day in some kind of form of lost or, you know, separation from their mom, don't know where their mom is, have a bad relationship with their mom. Um, let's pray <coughs> that things can be restored in these last days. Um, let's pray that we can stand on the word of God today, which is faith. Faith comes by hearing 
hearing by the word of God. So whatever you hear in the word of God should increase your faith. So let's go ahead and give another moment of silence here, you all, before we end the morning read. Just remember, the morning read may end. Just remember, the word of God lasts forever. The flowers may fade and the grass may wither. But the word of God, the true word of God, the word, the unadulterated word of God, the word of God that they cannot get out your spirit, regardless of what they put in a book or take out of a book, that word of God cannot be compromised or manipulated or deceived or mocked. Because those that know it will forever stand on his truth. So go and let the light of the word of God be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathways. Now please bow your hearts, bow your flesh, bow your, your high-minded thinking to take a moment to honor women that's gone before us such as Eve, such as I'm just saying mom, such as sweet home Alamanda's mom. Such as many women that went on in my family and um, I'm sure your family. But don't forget about the ones still living. All women are worthy to be praised. For we are the holy womb, the holy grail. We are the life stream of life. If God intended for men to rule the world or be in control of such things, they would have had the babies. So with that being said, happy Mother's Day. And you all be at peace, shalom, and let's have a moment of silence. Thank you. When we come back on with the intro again, it will go off and we will be done with the morning read. Shalom. yourself over to teespring.com get your mugs you can get t-shirts over there at amazon.com you definitely can get your reading needs uh, fulfilled uh, don't forget donations are not required but truly accepted don't forget to subscribe not only to my channel to me to the voice that's coming out of me but to the most who I got whom Christ said in John 12 and 30 this voice is not for my sake, but for your sake. And when I heard him say that to me, I said, well, hell, I'm going to make it to a place where my voice is not for my sake, but for your sake. We all struggle and need a savior, but God will use you to begin not to only save yourself, but to save others as well. So I suggest you subscribe to him, share him, comment about him, and begin to like and love him again. And with that being said, you all, we are right back to, oh, uh, let me show you this last little beautiful uh, vase here. I, I forgot it was underneath everything else. Back to a moment of silence and it's over, guys. Happy Mother's Day. I did the best I can and I hope you guys enjoyed this morning read. Episode 71, guys.